here and then go back on the anterior wall and finish to put uh, the stitches here so put one stitch here and here after that we remove the clamp and we try with the uh, patency test and of course you, you, you could observe some bleeding from the anastomosis this is normal also in the real uh, surgery so you can put again the clamp or use uh, your forceps to control the anastomosis and put the stitches that you you need so for example here probably when you when you remove the the clamps and try the patency test probably you could have a little bit of bleeding so you can manipulate the anastomosis not taking the vessels because you could damage the vessel but just take the suture and move the vessel taking the suture and put the last stitches that you need so we go back on the posterior wall because we are on the posterior wall and we start to put the a stitch here and here you have to imagine that this is a two millimeter vessel so you it's, it's strong enough to manipulate also like that but you have to try to manipulate just using the stitches and the, like that because in that way you don't create uh, create a damage on the vessel okay Another tips and trick, if you start to um, have um, tremors like that, this is normal because you are in the beginning. So if you have tremor, you could also use the, the forceps to put the, the, the needle order on the forceps. So you decrease the risk of tremor and you could manipulate like that. This is not a standard way, but it's useful when you start to, to have a little bit of uh, tremor that is normal so you can put the forcep like that and use the needle like that to take something or to move the, the stitches So always when you put the stitch in, the, in that side, you have to enter with the forceps in the lumen, open a little bit the forceps and pass with the needle. This is to avoid to pinch the intima of the vessels and to create a damage on the, on the intima that could create a thrombosis. And then you have to see the point of the needle and pass it Always remember to don't manipulate the needle with the forceps, but always take it with the needle on to avoid the magic.
18 or 9 to stay always on the background. So if you want to see better, don't try to go near to the microscope like that, because you're losing the focus, but stay always on your background. Okay, enter like that, open the forceps, pass the suture, and go in the other side. If you want to see the movement, you can just turn the knee. 